Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. Here's the integral for the day. I actually picked it out because yesterday I was in the math center on campus and some students were working on this one and I thought it was really fun. So we have integral of square root or radical one minus x over one plus x. So take a second, think about what you would do. And I had to play around with this one for a little bit. But the key to success here, the easiest, cleanest way to integrate this sucker is to rationalize the numerator, not the denominator. Yes. So what we're going to do is multiply both numerator and denominator by radical 1 minus x. So I'm going to split up the radical sign first. And then I'm going to multiply again by rad 1 minus x. Initially, I did try rationalizing the denominator, but it didn't get me anywhere. So here we go. You'll see why too. Um, all right. So now if I have rad 1 minus x times rad 1 minus x in the numerator, I'm just going to be left with 1 minus x. And then in the denominator, we're going to have square root of <clears throat> 1 plus x times 1 minus x dx. All right, so now this is going to be integral 1 minus x over square root. My new radicand is 1 minus x squared dx. How are we doing? Good. So now I can actually split this up into two integrals. We have here first integral 1 over radical 1 minus x squared dx. Start thinking you should recognize that one. Mm-hmm minus integral x over rad 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, first integral, this is just sine inverse of x, arc sine of x. Yeah, hopefully you recognize that. The second integral, we're just going to use a u substitution. Notice here the radicand, the expression under the radical sign is squared, and here's x to the first. So perfect time to do u sub. So we're just going to let u equal 1 minus x squared. du would be negative 2x dx. So I have negative 1 half du equals x dx, which is exactly what we have right here. So I'm just going to do a little baby integral off to the side, just focusing on this portion here. And then I'll plop back in whatever the antiderivative is. You know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> so we've got here now um, a negative one half integral. Instead of x dx, I have du over rad u. So this is negative one half integral u to the negative one half du. Add one, divide by the new exponent. I'm going to have negative one half. This is going to be u to the positive one half. Dividing by 1 half is the same as multiplying by 2. And then I have my plus C. So this is just negative. Instead of u to the 1 half, I'm going to write radical. What was u? It was 1 minus x squared plus C. We should call this little guy C1 if you choose. Okay, so there, that's done. Plop that back in here. Notice I have a minus sign and another minus sign, so that's going to cancel out, make everything positive. So first one, that's just sine inverse of x. And then this is going to be positive radical 1 minus x squared plus c. And we're done. This c here isn't a sum of c1 and anything else. I just didn't want to reuse that constant. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. And we could do another time something slightly similar if you want to try as a little challenge problem. It's, it's along the same lines, but more complicated if you had things slightly switched around. Okay, x minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Hmm, think about that one. 
give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and you can go check me out on TikTok and Instagram at Math TV with Professor V. Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. Stay tuned, guys.